Welcome back to the brewing class. On today's episode, we're going to talk about everything you need to get ready for brew day. Brew day preparation. And I'm drinking a uh, Guinness Drought from the bottle. One of my favorite beers. I just got done brewing a beer today. The last five, six hours I was brewing a beer. It's uh, in the ice bath now. It takes about three or four hours for the ice bath, ice bath to properly cool down the wort to fermentation temperature, which is about... 70 degrees Fahrenheit, about 22, 23 degrees Celsius. Um, it's been in there about two hours. I got maybe uh, one hour, maybe two hours at most left. So I'm enjoying my fourth beer of the day and let's get to talking. So when you're preparing for your brew day, there's a few things you have to be aware of. Do I have all my equipment ready to go? Or do I have all my ingredients ready to go? Is everything ready? Go through your checklist if you have one. It could be useful to make a checklist of your own or download one off the internet that somebody made for you um, and say, okay, I got my kettle, it's clean. Got my fermenters, it's clean. Airlock, stopper, bung, everything. Uh, hydrometer, thermometer, mash tun. I have stuff to cool the wort or you do the no chill method, leave it out overnight to cool down. That's not recommended. It'll usually leave impromptu bitterness and uh, it'll make it pretty hazy too. I don't recommend that, but if that's all you have, that's all you get. So make sure you have all your equipment ready to go. And what else would we have with our equipment? You have your mash paddle if you have one. Um, if you have electric brew system, make sure your electricity is good. I know that's stupid, but double check or just make sure, right? You never know. I've used my new uh, system here and we've started using the stove one time and the whole electricity died on us because too much power from this plus the stove and I think we might have had a gas or a electric burner on the stove top going too so be careful. Next you're going to need the ingredients so build your recipe. You should always have that done before you start brewing. I'm pretty good. I'm, I'm very artistic when it comes to brewing beer so I always have uh all the ingredients i need and then i'll kind of pick and choose from then almost right before brew day usually like today in new england ipa i didn't know what i was going to brew or sorry i didn't know what ingredients i was going to use but i ended up using pilsner malt um flaked wheat a little 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 bit of flaked oats i didn't have very much and a little bit of carapils and that's it i was going to use chateau biscuit but i didn't want to make it the color a little thicker and uh, I took the original gravity sample already and it looks great, honestly. Golden color, thick and hazy, is 1072 original gravity. I'm pretty excited about this beer. Um, I have, I'm gonna use White Labs WLP 067 Coastal Haze um, Ale Yeast for this. It's my first time using it. I'm excited about it. I think it's gonna be pretty good. I have hit or miss with White Labs, but I always prefer Y Yeast, but White Labs would be second. Um, I've become fond of some dry yeast, but I still prefer liquid yeast. So before your brew day, all your equipment, boom, check. All your ingredients, boom, check. If you're doing all grain, make sure your malt is milled, meaning crushed. Um, do you have your hops? What hops are you going to use? Uh, do you have your yeast? And on brew day, if it's a smack pack, why yeast? Make sure to smack it for about four hours before you're ready to brew. Sometimes it doesn't bubble up easily at all. So it may take time, so make sure you do that. I've gone in the last hour, shit, I forgot to smack my smack pack. Go take it out of the fridge, smack it, and it might not be ready to pitch by the time you're ready to pitch. So just be aware of that. Um, and I don't know about you guys, but I always like to have a beer, especially a home brew when I'm brewing. So get your beer in the fridge. If you don't have any beer in the fridge, go buy some. Go put some of your home brew in the fridge. Do what you gotta do. If you have any friends, any food, any barbecue, you're gonna get pretty hungry. Make sure to drink water when you're brewing, seriously. That's important. Um, and yeah, if you're gonna barbecue or something, get your food. So ingredients, equipment, food, water, beer. And that's about it. If you got some music, get your stereo or something, your dog, make sure the dog's walked. And uh, enjoy the day, that's all you can do, man. Brew days are the best days. I don't know about you, but it's literally my favorite day. So,
like this. Guinness is fucking poundable. It's only, uh, I don't know where it says, 4.2% alcohol. Super low, right? Lower than fucking Coors Light. And it's just poundable. This one has a little bit more carbonation, a little bit more body than the, the can. So I enjoy this. But yeah, I guess that's about it for brew day preparation. Uh, get your recipe, ingredients, equipment. Those are the three main things. If you have any other questions, feel free to shoot me an email at brewer at thebrewingclass.com. Once again, my name is Ty Stevenson, and I'll talk to you soon. Peace.